Yo, 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 what it do, YouTube? It's your favorite pilot, Conscious Buddha, and we are back with the series finale of our Howard University Dynasty Rebuild. It has been a long time coming. I took quite the hiatus. I've been working two jobs, been hustling, bustling, trying to pay off some um, some vacations I got planned this year. So I've been a little silent on the YouTube front, but I got some big projects coming after this Dynasty wraps up. As you see, we got snubbed. No Heisman finalists. We started off fresh this season with a couple guys on the list. But as you can see, no Howard University Bison on the Howard list at the end of the year. McCutcheonson actually did cleanup duty this year with some awards. As you see, Demetrius Robbins picking up award. Matt Thompson from Ohio State. We beat their behinds a couple weeks ago. Mike Barnes, Ben Robinson. Not much for us. We did, however, pick up our usual the thorpe award nathan stewart takes the thorpe but of course malik milton would take home the returner of the year award i mean that's a given at this point but let's go ahead and get into this game we got undefeated west virginia Hi everybody, this is Brad in the Nestle national championship always, game a long time Burger coming Street. we have been snubbed we've been on quite the win streak but we got snubbed Andy last year but we finally get our opportunity our to play for the, the national virginia championship Mountaineers it's a rainy Bison. game here in southern california but the that's not going to stop us from putting on a show. We got to get this championship. This has been the goal the of the entire Enchilada, series, winning a national championship for Howard as we are the first team to come out on the field, the number one team in the nation. And, of course, the West Virginia Mountaineers following us out into the field. It's been a big season for Reese Grimes. Third in NCAA with 49 touchdown passes. He's got some crazy talent on the receiving end. Brennan Traina, Lamar Milton, Mays, too many weapons. Lawrence and, of course, Cameron. They're picking us to win it. We're going to kick the Jones ball off. Jones is on the return. He gets popped by Bailey. That'll start West Virginia off. We got Jackson, who's fifth in Heisman voting. He passes the ball to Caldwell. It is stripped by Norwood, and Barnes picks it up. And just like that, we get our first turnover of the game, and Howard is starting off fresh. Big play by Roger Barnes, the safety. First and 10 from the 42. Grimes dropping back, gives the ball to Rodriguez. Rodriguez will drag a couple defenders. He doesn't get much there. One yard on the play. Play action. Grimes looking for somebody. He will take the sack. That is Brendan Traina's older cousin playing for West Virginia with the sack there. Setting up a third and long. Third and 18. Grimes dropping back. Looking for a man. He has his old faithful Lamar Millen on the sideline. That'll be a big first down. And they convert the third down with a long pass. Big first down. Right, Howard is on the move. You play. see, that has been the go to connection all season. Even when he like missed a couple games due to injury, you can see he came Grimes. back and it was like That's he never left. Here. Third and 15. Bank. Grimes will take the sack. And, and just like that, this drive man. is over. Fourth and 23. Punch Howard is punting the ball. I only show punts when it's a turnover or a big play. And that ball will be downed inside the two yard line by Lamar Milton. That is a big play. West Virginia handing the ball off. Jones breaks the tackle, but Jackson is there for cleanup duty. And they don't have much going. Two-yard line, third and ten. Jones will get the ball again, and he is popped by Andriano. And just like that, Howard's back on offense. Halfway through the first quarter, Grimes looking for Lawrence. Lawrence goes up, and he will drop the pass. The rain is playing a big factor early here in this game. As Grimes drops back, looking for a man again. Lamar will dive for the pass, and it is tipped and is incomplete. Third and ten. Grimes struggling so far in this game. Game. Another tip pass, this time by Triana's older cousin, and this will be another punt. And like I said, turnovers are big plays. This one will actually be a turnover as it is muffed and recovered by Lamar Milton for the touchdown, giving Howard the early lead. And you can see here, bounces off of Lamar's ankle right into number four, and it is muffed by him. And that ball will just roll into the end zone, and Lamar is there for the recovery. First score of the game. West Virginia back on offense. Jackson under the gun, faking the handoff, throwing it up, and it'll be tipped. And that will be a flag for holding second and 20. West Virginia back on offense. Jackson under the center, looking to the left, has Harris. Milton is there for the tackle, almost got the strip. That'll bring up third and 10 from the 38 yard line. Jackson dropping back, looking for a man across the middle, has him. Norwood is there with the tip pass, and that will be another three and out. 
Howard takes over at their own 24. Grimes looking to hand it off to Rodriguez. Rodriguez can't get anything going. It's been a struggle so far this game to get the run game going. Third and 10. Grimes rolling to the right. Looking for somebody. Has Triena. Triena will get the first down. Down to the 40-yard line. There is a flag, however. Who will this be on? Pass interference. And they're going to call it on Triena. Offensive pass interference. That'll make it third and 22 from the 12. Howard coming out third and long. Grimes is trying to make a play here. Rolling to his right. Has Milton. He will catch it. Get back to the 30. But that'll be fourth down. Just like that. West Virginia will take back over. Second and long. Jackson looking deep. Has a man. Malik Milton on the tip. Barnes is there, but no one can get the interception. Third and 17. Jackson's going to drop back and go right back to the same place before. And this time it is caught by Caldwell. He'll get down to the 44-yard line. That's a big play by West Virginia. Trying to make this a game again. You see Malik Milton turns his hips too fast and gives up the underneath pass route. First and 10 from the 43. Toss play to Jones. Jones has space. Norwood is there with a great tackle on the left sideline. Bringing up third and three as we wind down in this first quarter. Jackson looking for a man. That ball is tipped and it is picked off by Black. Black has the left sideline. He'll get tackled out near midfield. And that'll end the first quarter. Seven zip lead for Howard. Howard will take over here early in the second. Second and 13. Grimes dropping back. Has a man deep. Has Triena. And that'll be tipped. Clutch defense by number 38 from West Virginia. Bringing up third and long. Grimes needs a play. He's going to roll to his right. Use some patience here. Has a man. Has Lamar Milton down the right sideline. That is a first down. Down to about the 31. Howard's going to bring it out to the line real quick. Hand the ball to Rodriguez. Rodriguez gets no more than three there. And that'll bring up third and three from the 28. Grimes dropping back. Looking for a man. Has Triena again. Triena gets down to about the 15. There is a flag on the play. This one, I believe, will be roughing the passer. This should be some more free yardage as you can see yes the referee signaling roughing the passer that'll get us down to the eight yard line and we are beast in the red zone grimes is going to run the play action runs into a defender runs back the opposite direction and he hits pay dirt for the touchdown that is one of the more exciting touchdowns you will see play action roll out right into the defender reverses field cuts on a dime and he makes his way into the end zone to give howard a two score lead here early in the second he's been making plays like that his whole career you see it's nothing different here West Virginia takes over down two scores they got to start making some plays they're also undefeated this is the battle of the last two undefeated teams here and they are getting the business right now Jackson looking for a man throws it across the middle that is a quick fourth down as that was tipped both quarterbacks you see struggling here Grimes 5 for 11 Jackson only has three completions the ball will go to Malik Milton Malik Milton fields the punt you know what time it is he has that sideline picks up a big block and he is down the right sideline for a touchdown that is punt return number 15 on his career an obvious NCAA record and I also believe the record that Devin Hester set in the pros you can see this here Malik Milton is a beast well ahead of his years way before his time as Roger Barnes gets the interception he got the fumble recovery earlier he gets the interception here and this game is getting out of hand this game is getting out of hand I think Kevin Jackson just felt the pressure there rushed it out yeah you can see it he had Anderson on him. Anderson was hawking him down. He rushed that pass. He throws the interception. Grimes faking the handoff. Looking deep for Lamar Milton. That will be a touchdown. This game is getting ugly. This game is getting ugly. That was an easy play there. No one in the way. Easy play action. Easy release. Lamar Milton wide open in the back of the end zone. Just like that. 21 skunk here in your national title game. Actually, 28 skunk. We had the punt return just a couple plays earlier. Jackson dropping back, looking deep for a man. Malik Milton is there. That is overthrown. Jackson in the gun again, throwing it to the right. And Black is there for the big hit. He had the interception earlier. Now with the big hit. And just like that, Howard will take over the ball. Grimes rolling to his left. Looking deep for a man. That's Lamar Milton with another grab. And Howard is back in the red zone yet again. Handing the ball off to Rodriguez. Rodriguez finally makes a play here. Gets near the first down marker. 
It is third and one from the nine yard line. They're gonna go right back to him. He'll get the handoff and he will walk into the end zone for a touchdown. And it was only a matter of time before Rodriguez got into the end zone in this game. He's been a touchdown machine all season with 27 touchdowns so far. That makes 28 as just just an easy handoff on third and short and he waltzes in. Still struggling this game though, only 14 yards rushing so far but it's good to see him get into the end zone as Barnes is there on the sack, but he is down. He is down on the play, might have hurt his wrist. He might miss the rest of this game. Second and 16, Kevin Jackson needs to make a play. Norwood is there for a big hit. Norwood, Barnes have been stars in this game as Norwood gets the big hit stick on the receiver in the flat. And just like that, it is third and long. Third and 13 to be exact. Jackson dropping back, looking across the middle. Jackson is there for the deflection. And the ball comes right back to Howard. A minute left in the first half. They're already up 35 zip. Rodriguez, clean release up the middle. He gets 10 yards, second and inches. But now it is third and two with just a minute left. Rodriguez will carry a defender up the gut for five yards. Howard, second and 12. Option play. He has Clancy behind him, but Grimes doesn't need him as Grimes will take off up the left sideline and get down inside the 30 on a 35-yard gain. Howard is about to make this game 42 zip here in the first half as Grimes will roll to the right, but it is picked off by Utley, and Utley has some space. He'll get down to the 25-yard line, and that'll bring us to the end of the first half. And Howard gets the ball to start the third. And Howard has an opportunity to extend their lead. Malik Milton on the return has a seam. Has a seam, but he will get tackled down by the 42-yard line. Howard will start off. It is now third and 10. Not much going. Grimes looking deep for a man. Lamar Milton there with the diving grab, but it is dropped. The rain still a factor here. West Virginia takes over. Jackson getting mixy with the QB keeper, but he is hurt. Shaking up on the play. Looks like he has an elbow injury. We'll see if he gets back into this one. We see his backup on the sideline. Kendrick getting ready to step into the game here. It'll be third and five. Kendrick will just play it safe and hands off to Jones. And just like that, fourth down, the ball will go right back to Howard. And you can't have drives in that way against a team as potent as ours. Grimes looking for a man. He has Cameron on single coverage. He tries to freak him with the one-handed grab, but he will drop it. If he had just held on to it, that would have been a big touchdown as Rodriguez gets the ball, makes a man miss as he's done so many times this year. And he gets his biggest gain so far of the game. Second and 10. At the 39 on the plus side of the field, Rodriguez in open space, throws a juke, shakes a man off. Now he is down to the 20-yard line. 3.4 yards of carry so far this game. Not his best output, but he is doing what he has to do. Grimes rolling to the right, being patient, has nothing, but he will get down to the five. And that is how you make something out of nothing, as there is another West Virginia injury on the play. Grimes dropping back. He has Cameron in the flat on the square out. And that is the touchdown that he should have had earlier in the drive. He gets his revenge there. And just like that, Howard making this an even bigger deficit for West Virginia to try to climb out of. And that's just textbook. Takes the ball from the center, drops back, rolls to the right, finds his tight end. And they've been doing that for the past three seasons here. We'll see if they come back for another year of it. I know this is Cameron's last game. He's a senior. And Anderson is there with the big sack on Jackson, who just got back into the game. Fumble recovery by Norwood. And this injury for Jackson might be a doozy. He just got back into the game from that elbow injury, but he takes the big sack there. And he's hurt, hurt. Rodriguez shakes off a couple tackles. Gets down to the one-yard line on a vicious run. 15 yards there, down to the two. He'll get the ball again, and he'll push five defenders into the end zone for his second touchdown of the game. And so far, this second half has been a great one for Rodriguez. Getting his second touchdown on the game, throwing a bunch of defenders to the ground on his way to pay dirt. Howard is up. 49 zip seven straight scores on their head top jones with the grab tackled by jackson milton was also there second and three kendrick now has a lot to do here as he takes the sack kendrick has a lot to do backup quarterback on the grandest stage of them all and he takes the sack by bailey you can't have plays like that kendrick dropping back looking for somebody he just throws it to the flat and norwood has the flax on lockdown howard takes over 
Rodriguez getting the ball, and he will throw a stiff arm there, and this will be the most aggressive four-yard pickup you'll see. Third and nine now after losing some yards, Grimes will get sacked, and that's the play that West Virginia should have been making earlier. They had that sack early in the first, but after that, it's been all Howard. You see here, Caldwell gets the handoff on the reverse. He will be taken down rather aggressively by Malik Melton with the face mask. No incidentals here. That's always going to be a 15-yard penalty as West Virginia will get free yardage. Let's see if they can make something out of this as they will be gifted possession of the ball at the 36-yard line. Free 21 yards later, rolling out. That's a pass to Harris. Harris makes the grab, but Davis is there with the strip sack, and Malik Milton gets the fumble recovery. And just like that, the drive that had so much promise is dead in the water yet again as Howard takes over. Third and three, Rodriguez will get down, making it a fourth and one. And we will start the fourth quarter here with a fourth and one, and Grimes will get popped and lose yardage. And West Virginia. With great field position here as Jones gets the ball. He didn't need to throw that juke. He juked right into the defender. Now it's second and seven. Jones gets the ball again, throws the defender to the ground. He's getting close to a first down. Third and three at the nine. That ball is completed to Tompkins. That is a first down. They are now inside the two-yard line. Kendrick looking to make a play. Hands the ball off to Jones. Nothing going there. Third and goal from the five. He's going to fake the handoff this time. Looking deep. Has two defenders over there. It is tipped by number 22. That'll bring up fourth down. Kendrick going for it. West Virginia needs this touchdown. Kendrick will be sat by Goins. And Howard back on the ball here. Midway through the fourth. Rodriguez closing in on 2,000 yards this season. Will pick up a solid 15, 16 yards here. He's 61 yards away from 2,000 yards. You got to think we're going to try and get it to him on this drive as he breaks the tackle, breaks another tackle, breaks another tackle, gets 10 yards on that play. 51 yards now away from 2,000 on the season. As he gets another one on the counter tray, has the sideline, picks up close to 20 yards here. He is now 32 yards away from getting that illustrious 2,000 as he picks up another big gain here. And these are the plays we need. Second and one. Handing the ball off to Rodriguez. Rodriguez will pick up the first down. Rodriguez only needing about 15 more yards to get to 2,000. Grimes is going to look for Mays. Mays drops the ball. That is not what you need here. It is now third and 11 from the 30. Can Rodriguez get that 15 yards he needs? Breaks a tackle, hurdles it, and he's out in open space. And that is 2,000 yards, 2,015 yards to be exact, as he wraps up the hat trick and gets touchdown run number 30 on the season, wrapping up his greatest year to date. And I don't know why this man was not a finalist for any awards as he wraps up his greatest performance on the biggest stage of them all, and he's a national champion. Howard University wraps up the improbable dynasty, running the gauntlet, finishing this season undefeated, 13-0, continuing their win streak from last season, actually from two seasons ago, and we finally get our hands on the illustrious BCS National Championship trophy. And this has been quite the journey. Starting off that first year 6-6, six and six, but having some standout performances by guys like Turner and Hicks. Obviously, Grimes, Rodriguez, Milton taking over in the second year, and from then on, it's just been glory. 12-1, and one, two back-to-back -back undefeated seasons. You see Grimes wrapping up. The best QB rating of all time with 210.9. Best in Kellen Moore's performance. And as you can see, it is time to say goodbye to our guys. Andriano's on his way out. Rodriguez, 2012 yards. Sorry, I said 2015. It's 2012. Milton coming back after injury and still putting on a great season. 1,600 all-purpose, 16 touchdowns. Triena, of course, having a solid season. 36 for 700 yards, nine touchdowns. And, of course, Malik Milton, nine total touchdowns on the season. Grimes having his best year to date, 51 passing touchdowns, six rushing touchdowns. And, I mean, what can you say? Cameron's on his way out as well. Great performances by these guys. And it's tough to say goodbye. Nathan Stewart, the Thorpe winner. 
you see Grimes here, 51 passing touchdowns, his best touchdown interception ratio of his career. Just glorious performance. Rodriguez, 30 touchdowns, the most of his career. 74 is his longest rush, 2,000 yards, besting his previous year by 400 yards. Milton coming back from injury and still putting up crazy numbers. And on top of that, he also picked up two kick return touchdowns this year. Brennan Triana matching his sophomore year performance with nine touchdowns, similar reception, similar yardage. Cameron coming out, he put up three of the same years. And, of course, Malik Milton closing in on the all-time interception record. But that isn't even half the story. Finishing with seven kick return touchdowns, which is the NCAA record. And then also coming out and getting 15 punt return touchdowns, which I said also should be the NFL record set by Devin Hester, if I'm not mistaken. And, I mean, you just can't put a stamp on how dominant these guys have been. But, hey, guys, that's been the Howard University dynasty. I got more to come for you guys. You haven't seen the last of these guys. Until next time, stay safe, stay conscious. I'm out of here. Peace.